Well, NES, my friend, you have definitely seen better days. This is another eBay purchase I've got recently. And uh, I don't kid myself. When I buy these things off of eBay, I know they're broken. No matter what guarantees I get from the seller. This is what I expect. As a matter of fact, this is in a lot better shape than I expected it to be in. So, I'm going to go ahead, hook it up, and see what I got. I've gone ahead and taken the top off just to get right into it and uh, you can see right here in the uh, RF shield it took quite a fall it dented it but that seems to be the only damage is to the case and uh, bending the shielding up a little bit so I'm going to go ahead and take this out of here and see what else we got. If there is any more damage. Alright, take that off. Set that aside. And this is... Well... Some real vintage 80s dirt. Alright. Alright, get the connectors off for the controllers. Power. Second controller. Alright, well, looks like we got some corrosion, just a little bit, surface rust going on here. So I'll take, slide this off, get that out of the way. See what else we got. Looks pretty clean on this side. The thing looks good. PPU, CPU, lockout chip. And as you saw just a few minutes ago, when I put the cartridge in there to see if, oh, you got some corrosion there on the pins. We can take care of that. But anyway, when you see me put a cartridge in, all I got was a blank screen. And I'm hoping it's just a matter of cleanup and I don't have video problems because I I do have extra PPUs but I really don't want to swap it out unless I have to and I don't know if you can see these pins in the connector 
That'd be hard, difficult to see. Might not be real obvious on camera, but these pins have been worked and they are pushed up, bent down, some corrosion on them. I'm uh, going to have to go through them and uh, um, bend them all back into position. But other than that, it looks to be in good shape. The other thing I'm going to do on this is that I'm going to disable the lockout chip. Uh, let's see, this chip right here. If you look, you'll, say, you'll see CTC. That's lockout chip. And basically the only operation here is to uh, desolder pin 4 and uh, jumper pin 4 to ground disabling the lockout chip. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the cleanup first, see if that takes care of it. And then we'll go from there. Alright, I'm just going to show you real quick how to uh, uh, gently bend these pins back into place. I can't recommend it you do it this way, but it is one of many ways to do it. And if you do decide to do this, and I'm not advocating it, be careful. All right, one way to bend these pins back is these lower pins right here. All you can really do is with a I'm using a Exacto being very careful or you could use some other small object to get in here to get on these pin underneath these pins and bend them up. And all you have to do really is Get underneath it, gently bend them up, like so. And if you can see it, you can see how uh, the difference there. Alright, for this upper pin, uh, it's a little more uh, care should be taken and this is what you do. It's right back here this little s slot you can get into and push the pin out. It takes a little bit of force you want to be very careful. Push down and out like that. Once you got that out, up that far let me get out a little bit. You can get a screwdriver and pry it the rest of the way out. Gently. And this is profile of the pin and what you want to do you want to take it back bend it down
and then bend this piece right here on the end bend it up not too much maybe you can bend that down I can bend that down a little bit more and that's probably about as much as you want to bend that you don't want to go crazy here all right let me get this back in oh there is also a notch or a, a tab right here get underneath it with your exacto bend it up just a little bit so it'll catch and lock you feed this back into but obviously now that you have it out you would clean the contact also but for now we're just gonna feed it back in easy push it in you'll feel it lock into place See if I can focus. And that's I know that's very difficult to see that in there, but those contacts are almost touching. They may be a millimeter or so apart as compared to the these other ones who there's quite a gap there. So you just do that 72 more times and clean them as you go and that's what I'm going to be doing for a uh, little while. Alright, I was starting to run a little bit long here, but after setting the pins and cleaning it up a little bit, this is what we got. So I hope this has been helpful. We'll see you next time.